Kia everybody and good morning. Wow, it is so exciting to be back out on the trail and to be back in front of you guys as well. I've missed you all. Um, it's just been a super crazy, uh, probably six weeks or so actually, and um, I just haven't had time to get it back out on the trail. Um, I've been having super mad computer issues as well, so I haven't even been able to edit some other videos and things for you, but I'm hoping to change that all very soon. Um, for now, today I am out at the Rainbow Mountain Scenic Reserve, which is partway along the main state highway to Rotorua from Taupo here in the central North Island. And I'm hiking the Rainbow Mountain Summit track. And I've just stopped off at the Rainbow Mountain Cradle Lake. There's our wee Cradle Lake there, and I'm hiking up to the top of this mountain here. So super excited to have you guys along on this journey. Um, I've just hiked the 500 meter approach trail, and now it's another 3.5 kilometers um, to the summit. So I'm expecting that to take me uh, a little over an hour and 15 minutes probably with all the videoing. So let's go. <laughs> kilometers to the summit. This way. It is freezing cold this morning. I bet the temperature is not much above zero Celsius today. Um, it was, there was a frost on the ground this morning in Taupo when I left and uh, lots and lots of fog covering the road on the way here today which is not unusual for that section of road um but yeah i'm glad of my puppy today um i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my puppy in another video later on but uh it is keeping me nice and toasty warm and um really it's just my fingers that are a little bit cold because I don't have any gloves. I've got some gloves with me, but they're just thin ones, so I wasn't expecting it to be quite so cold. I thought I might build up a bit of a sweat, but so far, no such luck. Okay, so it's straight on to Waiotapu, which is another geothermal area a little bit further up the road in Kerosene Creek, but we are doing the summit track, which is heading off in this direction over here. Rainbow Mountain is quite a geothermal area. That means a couple of things. Uh, number one is that you get these beautiful colours through the soil. Nice bright whites and uh, sort of speckled with rusty red colours, which I believe is something to do with the iron content in the um, in the soil and the rock underneath. I'm not a scientist, so I can't tell you exactly why, um, but it's just a beautiful, it's a completely different landscape to be hiking through. But in addition to the different type of rock, 
It also means that there is a stench of sulphur in the air as well, and that's from the steam that's rising up from deep underground um, from the sulphur deposits and things underneath the soil. So uh, it makes for a, an interesting type of hike. Um, if sulphur makes you queasy, this is probably not the hike for you, but it's not too bad today. Stopping for a little break. I am I'm not used to climbing up massive hills after not having done any hiking for about six weeks, so my calves are feeling it today. Just uh, you can't see because it's a little bit overexposed, but little glimpses of the view as I'm going up the side of the mountain here. Uh, so I can't really see anything yet, so it's going to make for a nice surprise when we get to the top. I was just stupidly thinking to myself that the grade has been a lot easier than Mount Tohara so far and um, I was going to suggest that this might be a nice alternative for people who don't like climbing such steep slopes but uh, just in the last couple of hundred meters whew, it's been almost 45 degree angle slopes so never mind it's good for a fitness walk I've been um, using just the one trekking pole today which is unusual for me I usually like to have two um, but I thought I would try it out and just see how it feels um, and it, I think it is definitely a little more difficult with just one um, probably for this sort of steepness of slope it would have been a bit better to have two it just helps to take a little bit more of that pressure off of my legs and especially off of my calves um, but it's still better than having nothing so We'll carry on. I've only got the one, so um, we'll see how we get on and uh, I can make a decision once I'm finished. I'm hoping that it's not too much further to the top. Um, it's probably only another, I don't know, five, six hundred metres maybe worth of track. Um, so I should be there very soon. <laughs> it really doesn't do it any justice if I come down a bit more, more towards my knee level. You can see how steep that looks. But, uh, very slow pace on these uphill bits. Some up view this way. The vehicle track that you can also use to get up. It's the way to the summit, and you know, I've just taken this little walking track to get up here. So this is the view looking south from Rainbow Mountain and that there is Mount Tohara. You can just about make out the mountains of the central plateau over there in the distance and the Komenawa Ranges um, now snow capped over there on that side. 
this valley down here is the Waiatapu Thermal Valley there so you can see all of the geothermal steam rising up from the ground and this is the expanse of our beautiful central plateau. <coughs> so this is the view looking out um, towards a north easterly direction and that there is actually Mount Tarawera and you can see Lake Tarawera there so along here is where we hiked the Tarawera Trail finishing up in a car park um, over in this valley somewhere here so actually quite neat to see that from a higher perspective What absolutely beautiful views and it's such a stunning day today as well so couldn't have picked a better one. I wanted to make sure that um, when I came up here I was actually going to be able to see something. So I've been waiting all this time for some half decent weather on a day that I've got off and um, thankfully it managed to come off. So I hope you guys enjoyed the views out there. So the downhill has been as expected, nice and easy able to get into quite a good rhythm actually on this downhill um, but very steep as well and uh, it's making it a little bit tricky because it is a bit muddy but um, not too bad it's definitely I think easier than the Mount Tohara track um, and for a lot less uh, distance as well so there's not so much pressure on the old knees I was struggling a little bit on the ascent um, with my left foot something right in the top of my left foot um, sort of around my ankle area was hurting a little bit and I think probably it's just a case that I haven't done some walking for a little while so it's obviously a muscle that hasn't been used for a little while just reminding me that it's there Okay, well, you can hear the deafening sound of the main road there in the background, which means I'm not far away from the trailhead now. I'm back on the approach track, so not too far to go to the car park, which means that this hike is finished, which is a bit of a shame. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been a bit strenuous, but it's been really great to get the old heart pumping again and um, get the legs going. So I'm sure I'm going to pay for it tomorrow and I'm going to probably have to have a bath or something when I get home but I'm just super stoked to have broken the drought for now and to have gotten back outside into our beautiful natural environment. Thanks so much again guys for watching, it's been great to have you along once again after such a long time and uh, don't forget to stay subscribed to the channel Click the little bell notification so that you can get an email next time I upload a video and I will catch you next time.